What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Eric Johnson, 1994, back with y'all again with another video. I got some more pickups, you know, in the mail today. Buffing that twisted static from the cryptic collection three. In the background, if y'all can hear it. Got the packages right here. I just open them for I won't have to keep putting my phone down and just trying to open them up and stuff. But we're gonna start out with this one first. All right, this album I've been trying to get for the longest, very legendary Detroit rapper. You know, the Godfather of this wicked shit. You know, very hard album to get. Um, I wanted the original one, the 2014 25th anniversary version. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me put it down. Camera down. It's in a bag. I hate when motherfuckers put this shit with like new CDs in a bag and shit. All right. Here we going with Ishan, Booming Words from Hell. Released in 1989. This is the 1990 repressed version. Shout out to that OG dude, Speaking Clock Podcast host, that boy Mike Sears, Speaking Clock Podcast. You know, he really got me into like, you know, Insane Clown Posse. I've been hearing him for over the years. I just wasn't, you know, like a fan of him. But over the past few years, I've been getting into their music, you know, the psycho, psych, Psychopathic Riders. You know, uh, that whole series, you know, dumping, riding dirty, eat shit and die, duck the fuck down, shake your shit in, bitch, uh, eat shit and die, you know, et cetera, et cetera. When they was doing that shit, you know, with those Psychopathic Rider albums, you know, they was together. And I hate to see them apart, you know, with like Magic Ninja Entertainment, you know, with Twisted and those artists over there, and then you got... You got um, the Wicked Clowns, you got us Insane Clown Posse, you know, Ouija Mac, you know, that whole other side of Psychopathic Records and shit. I believe they'll get back together one day, but you know how it is when it comes to like business and shit, and you know, it's the history between them and stuff, but yeah. Ishan Booming Words From Hell. This album is fucking fire, man. Ishan's Booming, My Nine Rhymes, All the Suicide, All the su Suicidalists, sorry about that. The Devil's Groove, fucking crazy. I can see a music video for that. Like, he just going on a killing spree. You know, then he get killed, and you know he in hell. He just chilling with the devil and stuff. Uh, Red Round Kissing Bennett, some old wicked shit. Amen, Another Sin. Pussy Ain't Got No Face. Devil, devil's in the suit. Fucking fire. Sorry about that. I had to turn the CD around for y'all. Ishan Boom Warriors from Hell. I love the CD design too. You see the flames in, in, in Hell and stuff. Then you see the boy Ishan with the hoodie on like he just went to go stick a motherfucker up for his money and shit. But yeah. This is Ishan Booming Words from Hell, released in 1989, 1990 repressed. Shout out to that boy, um, Mike Sears, Speak Clock Podcast again. And all my wicked ones out there representing that motherfucking hatchet, you know. Um, check out Beneath the Dirt, Rome Bone, um, Fago Lovers, DC Fago Guy, you know, artists like that. Well, not artists like that, but like YouTube um, channels like that when it comes to like, you know, the wicked shit. And like other different topics too. All right, gonna get another package out for y'all. And put the phone, we put the phone down for y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I gotta. Keep cutting stuff open and stuff. I thought I had it all when I opened the packages and stuff, but you know how these sellers be when it comes to like packages and stuff. They be putting all types of stuff to protect the items and shit. But most of the time, I be want to look at the package with the quickness, but 
I'd rather have it safe than have the shit like come fucked up and stuff. But um, this next this next item I got um, I never owned a type of music like this in a format, and I never knew like different type of music coming this like. I didn't I didn't know music come like this, but like him, um my boy Tribero, Tri um from my homeboy's Reg's channel. Um like the long box CDs that was like really um popular in like the probably like the late eighties to like early nineties and probably a little bit after that. I just said, Hey, I never owned any long box CDs and I wanted to, you know, own some long box CDs to add to my collection. And we're going to the late great Legend Bob Marley with the two CD collection, the legendary Bob Marley series, the best of reggae, a reggae music forefather featuring the song that started a musical re rev revolution. Natural Mystic, living up, li lively up yourself, sun is shining. Don't rock the boat. Duffy Conqueror, Trench Town Rock. So, so sick down party, keep on moving, and Kaya, and more. Got the songs right here. If y'all know any extra things about these songs, y'all can leave them in the comment section. And just tell me some of y'all favorite Bob Marley songs. But yeah, man, I got this for a good price on eBay and stuff, you know. Because, like, when you try to get, like, long boxes and probably, like, certain CDs of, like, different artists and stuff that's real popular like that like when they die their prices go up real high and stuff it depends on like the seller and stuff but yeah that's bob marley's the legendary bob marley um two cd collection long box getting the next package out for y'all oh yeah this next item gonna be um, from the land of the rising sun a different version you know like a Japanese version of the CD you know I've been meaning to get a lot of a lot more Japanese CDs and stuff but you know like when you get the Japanese version with like the OBI strip um you know when you get stuff shipped from Japan it costs a lot more but I got this on eBay for a decent price you know I was surprised that I got it I'm very grateful to have it, and we're going with Prince's Parade album, Japanese version, with the OBI strip, released in 1985, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, sorry about that. Um, my favorite songs is off here is New Position, I Wonder You, Mountains, that's an underrated Prince um, music video. Another 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 hole in your head very good song And I like how they got like the songs in like Japanese and stuff But yeah, I like How the Japanese do their designs on the CDs and stuff then you know like with certain different Japanese versions and like different, you know Pressings and stuff you might have different songs that wasn't like on the US version and stuff But yeah, this is Prince's Parade album. I think this un Parade Under the Cherry Moon Parade released in Sorry about it. I had to um, take some more of this stuff off my packaging stuff. Um, we're going. This next CD is from a Wicked duo who are out here doing their thing in the music industry underground. L legendary group. That was with the Insane Clown Posse for many years, but you know, due to like disagreements, they broke apart from the Wicked Clowns. But they still out here doing their thing. We're going with. Twisted with the Cryptic Collection 3. I'm glad I got this in my collection. Shout out to Mike Sears again. You know, um, go check out his Twisted videos on his channel. 
the green book one and the most tasteless one and the freak show one that was really fire all those videos are you know i'm trying to get the axe murder boys blood in blood out cd but i'll probably get that next time i get paid you know you got songs like static which i was just listening to a while ago secondhand smoke remix And I like the and I like the design of the CD too. Like it's just like some Japanese magic. Like if you like if you summon them from like an ancient like an ancient dark spell or something, these two motherfuckers would just show up, just be up the mischief and shit. You see twisted with the dragon, the hatchet. See the design of the CD? Like they finna go slice a couple motherfuckers up on some Kill Bill shit. Yeah, this is Twisted Cryptic Collection 3. I'm gonna do one more, then I'm gonna end the video and do a part two. I got another long box CD. And I gotta remember what I got. It's supposed to come on the way. I don't think I got it in this video though, but yeah. Um, we're gonna stick with the Wicked Duo. And we're going with Twisted, the Cryptic Collection 1. There's another version of this with them without, like, the um, Michael Murray mask is on. Mask on, sorry about that. I think that at like a pres like a it's like a presidential type thing where they be up at like the little thing where where the president be speaking at and stuff. Then you have two of them like I think they have like I don't think they have no eyeballs in their eyes or something. It's like real crazy, real real wicked and shit. Crypt the collection, what the fuck? It's the crispy remix. Somebody dissing you featuring Blaze Your Dead Homie. I got the Cotton the Cotton Grundy album coming in soon. Um Something's Weird, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Bones. With Distance of Reality. I think that's a remix, cause I was listening to it at work a couple of days ago. And put it down featuring Blaze Your Dead Homie. You see the bat? Uh, yeah, here it go. It, the the other version of the CD look of the um CD look like this, but it's on the front cover. Twisted Crypto Collection One. Um, the only one I need is Crypto Collection Two, and I haven't listened to like Crypto Collection Four. I don't know if it go any higher than that, but I have to see. I'm going to end the video, y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me some videos of y'all showing off y'all CD collection. Give me some recommendations of what I need to add to my collection, you know. Tell me what y'all got in y'all collection. What type of CDs do y'all want in y'all collection that's really expensive. You know, give me some suggestions of what I need to add to my collection. Thank y'all for looking at the videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video. I'm finna upload it after this one. Peace.